Alright, in this video I'm going to explain about how RS Logix software is going to program the ITS, going to simulate the ITS. So ITS is Interactive Training System PLC Professional Edition software launched by Real Games to learn industrial automation in easy and flexible way. So let's see what we have in that and how we can program this simulation using RS Logix. So I'll go to the systems and I'll select one of the environment, let's do about sorting and go to the launch. Okay. If you want to download this software, you may not be able to link with your PLC because this requires a license. So you can either, you can either buy the license or you can work in the demonstration mode. All right. So now in this environment, let me go to one area. Let's see over here. Now here we have some sensors here and the actuators. If you want to highlight the names of the sensor and actuator, you can do from here. Sensors, it will highlight the name and that's the actuator. All right. Now let's open RS Logix. Now the software ITS is linked with my PLC using the DAC card, Data Acquisition Acquisition Card 4750. So using that we have linked these two together. You can find the more details in our website or you can write to me at rajwarsingh.43 at the gmail to know more about the software interfacing. So now I'll go to the new file and select my PLC 1400 here. Okay. Now, if I open the input, let me go to the online first. I'll go to the online just to show you how this is linked together. So, this was sensor 0. Okay. Now, here you'll find this is the control panel. This is at manual right now. I'll make it auto. Okay. Now, this I call in 0 slash 0 is my first input. Okay. A. Now, this is connected to, this is linked to my first sensor 0. Okay. If it is I colon 0 slash 1, that means that is linked with my sensor 1. So if I turn on the sensor 0, I'm doing it forcefully. We have forceful mode in the software as well. You will find if I turn on the sensor, this will be on and this will turn on the output. And output in the software is actuator 0, which is linked to here. So what, what's happening here is all the sensors inside the environment is linked to my input of VLC. And all the outputs of VLC are linked to actuator of this environment. All right. So if I run this one, it solves the logic. Turn on the actuator. You can see the light is on here, and this actuator is running. But we don't have to do it forcefully. We rather have to do it by these buttons. Okay. Or the let the sensor gets on by itself, not by this forceful mode. But this is just a demonstration how this input outputs are linked. So if I forcefully turn it on, turn it on from here, this will again turn on my output here. And you can see boxes running. This is a forceful on of mode. Okay. And here you'll find this is the second actuator which is not programmed in the VLC, so it will stuck. Boxes will jam. We can remove the force. Now the sensor is on. How? Because this sensor is on here. And it is keep on detecting the boxes. Okay. If I turn off the sensor by removing the box manually find the logic is logic says that output should be off so the actuator is off okay if I drag the box and bring it in front of the sensor you will find that it will solve the logic okay just I'm just playing around I'll bring it a little more further let's turn on my output the moment sensor goes off output will be off so in this case sensor is on continuously so that's how we are going to learn about how to make logics in this environment using Ellen Bradley and the VLC we are using is Micronauts 14. So this was the integration we will learn in these series of tutorial in NFI on VLC in a day course. Alright, I hope that really makes sense and we'll be having really fun doing some experiments, doing some programming in this environment, starting from the scratch. Alright, if you have any question, pop me a comment and I'll be back to you. Thank you.